Item number SCP-1018 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1018 is currently contained in Storage Unit Located at Site All components of SCP-1018 are to be kept in 1m by 1m by 3m containers and kept under guard by two members of security at all times. No liquids are to be introduced to SCP-1018 components without the express permission from one member of Level 3 personnel. Description. SCP-1018 is the overarching designation given to a group of three statues hereafter referred to as SCP-1018-1, SCP-1018-2, and SCP-1018-3. All components of SCP-1018 depict an emaciated or elderly human male and are composed primarily of concrete and gravel. A red luminescence is visible on several points on the surface of SCP-1018 components mostly present on the head and throat. SCP-1018-1's anomalous effect is activated by applying pressure to the back of his neck while SCP-1018-2 and SCP-1018-3's are activated by contact with liquid. When SCP-1018-1 is activated, the area within 10 meters of it will experience heavy rainfall. In situations where SCP-1018 is activated indoors, this rain will rapidly fall from the ceiling of the structure. Further examination of rainfall produced by SCP-1018-1 shows no anomalous properties. This rainfall will last 30 minutes before abruptly ceasing. The rainfall brought on by SCP-1018-1 will typically activate SCP-1018-2 and SCP-1018-3 when they are in the same structure. When SCP-1018-2 is activated, six manifestations of what seem to be emaciated children will appear in the area surrounding SCP-1018-2. These children appear identical to several who disappeared two months before SCP-1018's recovery. All manifestations will approach individuals present and frantically request water. These manifestations are incorporeal and so are unable to consume water even when it is provided to them. Twenty-five minutes after the initial activation, all manifestations will clutch their throats and fall to the ground, or they remain for an additional two minutes before disappearing. SCP-1018-3 appears to have been heavily modified at some point in the past. Several parts of its structure appear to have been removed and replaced, most notably the left leg and the head. A small hole has been drilled into the left ear of the statue, suggesting something has been removed or inserted. The purpose of these modifications is currently unknown. When SCP-1018-3 is activated, it will begin speaking in a highly distorted male voice. SCP-1018-3 will generally repeat the phrase, Are we cool yet? Although rare variations on this have been noted, such as, Aren't we cool yet? Are we god yet? And Mars we cook yet? When these variations are spoken, the distortion of SCP-1018-3's voice will increase heavily with stuttering and slowdown of speech being common. The speech will continue for 30 minutes before ceasing. The components of SCP-1018 were first recovered when they were activated at a charity gala intended to raise money to provide clean water to those in troubled areas. Mobile Task Force Epsilon-23 art critics, were dispatched to recover SCP-1018 and did so without incident. Security camera footage of the incident shows two local activists placing the SCP-1018 components backstage and activating SCP-1018-1 before fleeing. Efforts to locate them has as yet been unsuccessful.